There are many different types of drums in Sri Lanka that was in use since ancient times and mentions of these are found in classical literature. Although there had been about 33 types of drums, today we find only about 10 and the rest are confined only to names. The Sri Lankan drum tradition is believed to go as far as 2,500 years. The contemporary drums used in the island as of today are the Gattabera, Pahatharatabera or Yakbera, Daula, Tamattama, Udakia, Rabana and Tavil as their native names. The bodies of drums are made using a variety of wood including ahala, kos or jack, kithul and coconut which are some of the main. Once raw logs are brought into the workshop, they are cut into chunks depending on the type of drum made as each drum has its own unique length and diameter. The bark of the wood is then removed to have smooth surfaces to create the body. The basic shaping of each drum is created from the lathes for the subsequent stages in the drum's creation. Today, an electric lathe allows them to finish a drum body in a couple of hours. The drum body is then hollowed out with a hammer and chisel, a process that could take over a day. However, today, this process too is automated to ensure faster manufacturing. While many current drum makers try to retain the skills needed to carve a drum body by hand, this skill is no longer used. Once the drum bodies are finished, smoothened and varnished, it is proceeded with the next steps in the drum making process. The preparing of drum heads from row height happen next. The open end of the bodies are evened out and sanded until perfect. A mistake here will affect the drum's sound. Goat and cattle hide lay stretched, drying in the sun and once completely parched, they are meticulously cut into circles to form coverings for the hollows in the drums and some 
are stripped as binders so that it will hold the lids in place while more dried skins are slit laterally as streamers that will run the length of taller drums. Before the hide is fixed to the drum heads, it is soaked in water to avoid tearing. A hoop made of creepers is fixed around the drum heads. The hoop is placed to fix the hide from slipping away from the drum heads. First process is fixing the hide cover for the drum heads. This is called hackma or the cutout cover. Prior to placing the real hide in the drum, a temporary hide is placed. This is to avoid damage for the real skin since fixing the hide cover can cause tear of the real hide. Before fixing the covering hide to the drum heads, holes are made around it. These holes are used to stretch the hides in either side of the drum heads. Then, the covering hide is placed on each of the two drum heads. Both heads are connected to each other via nylon thread. After these drum heads are secured with braided cowhide, they are fastened with pegs and wooden wedge that can be tightened and loosened to tune the drums. The heads are then connected from one end to the other across the length of the shell with plastic strips in a zigzag pattern.
A circle is then drawn on the covering hide in the center and is cut. Layers of cloth are then placed underneath it to get the embossed effect. After this, it is placed under the sun for drying up to 2-3 to three days. Once this is dried, the covering height can be seen as a strong cover around the drum heads. The nylon thread and the plastic strips are removed and this allows the covering height to be removed like a lid. Preceding this, the temporary hide is removed and the real hide is stretched over the drum openings in varying layers to form the drum head. The right head is of a light, thin skin while a much thicker skin is placed to the left head. Then, the covering height cover is placed again on the drum heads. Finally, the heads are connected with cowhide strips and placed in a zigzag pattern. The general tension or tuning of the heads is achieved by pulling each section of the zigzag strip consecutively until all slack is removed. Fine tuning is accomplished by hitting the hoops of the heads with a wooden wedge shaped beater. Thank <laughs> you.